Who was the audience for these letters and who was the author? To answer those questions, we need to look at the prescripts. And we can see a lot in these very small parts of the letter, although they look deceptively simple and even dull. A prescript consists of three parts. First, the superscriptio, the name of the sender. A second, the ad scriptio, the name of the addressee. And third, the salutatio, the greeting. Often those are followed by a prayer or well wishes to the addressee. Let me give you three examples of prescripts. The first comes from Philippians 1.1. 1, 1. Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, together with the overseers and servants, or bishops and deacons, depending on how you want to translate that. The second reads like this, Isias to her brother Hephaestion, greetings. And the third is from Philemon, again a letter of Paul. Paul, captive of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, brother to Philemon, our beloved and our co-worker, and to Aphia, sister, and Archippos, our co-worker, and to the ecclesia in your house. X to Y, greetings. That's what a prescript looks like, and it doesn't necessarily seem very interesting. You might feel a little bit of despair thinking that I'm going to make you look closely at what are essentially email headers to someone, from someone, regarding something. But as you look closely, we'll find really exciting details in these prescripts. One thing that you might notice is that authorship isn't so simple. It's not only Paul writing. He and others co-send the letters. You might also notice that audience isn't straightforward either. What's an ecclesia, you might wonder. And you may also notice that Paul presents himself in different ways to different audiences, almost with titles, in one case a slave, in another an apostle, in another a captive. So let's delve deeper into each of these discoveries, authorship, audience, and Paul's presentation of himself.